The last thing that we need to do to set up our project to use uh, 360 footage is to make sure that we have a VR headset set up with Fusion specifically. So um, I'm gonna show you how to set up one with an Oculus. Um, we use the Oculus Rifts, which are tethered headsets, um, but you can also use, um, uh, the similar process will work for other tethered headsets. Um, but how you get that to work is if you go here, let's just go to our tab, uh, our uh, timeline tab, and let's go ahead and bring in just a piece of 360 footage. Um, I'm just gonna, I was just working on a piece, so I, ha I know that I've got a clip right here that's already been um, rendered out. And let's go ahead and just make sure that our timeline is set up correctly. So I'm going to set this up as a 5760 by 5760 timeline, which is a stereo. Um, let's see, timeline. Timeline settings. Okay, so let's go ahead and just change this to 5760 by 5760. 29.97 is our timeline frame rate, so that's great. Um, okay. So that looks proper. You know, we don't want any any black there. So, um, and you can you can kind of do this with any piece of footage. Um, doesn't have to be a stereo foot piece of footage, but this will help you make sure that your um, your fusion is set up correctly. So with uh, with a clip in your timeline, just go ahead and then drag uh, jump over to the fusion tab, and so we can see our footage here in fusion. And so if you don't have a VR headset set up, then if you look here at the media out, is that you'll only see two little white dots or two two little dots. Um, one, there's a black one right now, there's a white one. And this just says where your footage is being set up. When you have a VR headset that's properly set up is that you will actually get a third option uh, and a place to send the footage. So, you have to do this while you're in the Fusion tab, but come up to your to Fusion and go to Fusion Settings. And all the way down underneath your settings, there's one called VR Headsets. Um, it might be disabled, so you can either set it to auto, um, or if you have an Oculus headset, you could use Oculus, or you can use OpenVR um, if you have a, um, uh, a different VR manufacturer. Um, let's go ahead and just, because we're going to use an Oculus, let's just set this to Oculus. For 360 video format, um, you can set this to auto. Um, we always do our work in lat long, which is just another term for echo rectangular. Um, these other formats, uh, this V cross, H cross, V strip, H strip, those are uh, cube map formats, um, but we don't tend to use those. Um, another option is that you can enable or disable a mirror window. So if you want to see a view of what's happening in your headset that's displayed on your desktop, perhaps you're working with somebody else next to you, you can enable this mirror window. Um, and then there's settings for seating and standing. The stereo mode is one that you can set to auto if you want. Um, I do a lot of work in, in over under 360. And so that is a vertical stack uh, stereo. And then uh, 3D, we can just leave that to auto and Z buffer. And so we can click save. And now we can see, now that I've enabled it, there is a third option. And so if you click on that, we can see that Oculus is already opened up. And if I come over here and I hit three on my keyboard, that should show the footage inside of my headset. And you will need to make sure that your Oculus headset is properly set up with Oculus. Um, so if you haven't really used a tethered headset before um, with Oculus, um, Oculus has its own program that needs to be running in order for other third-party programs to communicate with the headset. So make sure that you have Oculus up and running. If your screen is blank, like it is here, I don't think it'll turn on. Yeah. Um, that's usually because Oculus, this Oculus program needs to be uh, running before we start Fusion. So let's just go ahead and restart Resolve. So let's just open our project. 
So we're back in our Fusion tab and let's just hit number three. That'll open up my window. And there we go. Um, so now I can look around. So as we see here, let me just make this bigger for you. So this is what I'm seeing inside of my headset. Um, this is really, really helpful for when you're working on a Fusion clip. You know, the ability to see what you're doing in real time is, is really helpful. Um, the One of the caveats is that uh, currently Resolve only has a, in, uh, currently Resolve doesn't have a way to look at footage directly from the timeline here. Um, so if you're in edit mode, this window is not going to be sent to your headset. This is something that I'm hoping Blackmagic will fix in one of its uh, upcoming releases. But uh, for now, to view your footage in a headset, you do need to be in the Fusion tab um, for for this functionality to work. There is a third-party program that uses NDI, which is a uh, protocol for streaming, for viewing your timeline in a um, in a in a VR headset, the cool thing is that this this program actually works uh, remotely as well. So if you have a remote setup, is that you can allow clients to to view in to to log into to a local system. Um, this one is a program that is made by Lightsail VR. It's called VR.NDI. <clears throat> um, and so if you go to LightsailVR.com. Uh, they have uh, this available now, um, and you can read through their documentation. I'm not going to show you exactly how to set it up because there are some, uh, that's probably its, its own video. Um, but for uh, for a hundred bucks, uh, you can you can get this program. Um, and and I, we use it, I would say it, like, it works pretty well. Um, so you you do need to buy the VR NDI plugin, and you also need to purchase the No Display plugin. Um, this one, because you need uh, it for Resolve. Let's see how much this one costs. Um, yeah, you need to order. You also need to buy the NDI version, uh, which is another seventy six dollars. So, um, so while I won't go through how to set that up, um, you can check out. Uh, light sales tools. Um, the the folks over at Lightsail are are really helpful in in supporting sort of the com the community of creators. Um, but you know, in total, to get that working, that's an additional one hundred seventy five dollars or so. So, um, uh, so it might not be. Hopefully, it'll be something that does find its way into the native version of Resolve at some point. But if that is a feature that you are needing, go ahead and check out Light Sales tools um, uh, and that might you might find that a useful solution for your needs but once you have your VR headset set up here in fusion at least you are you should be ready to go ahead and start working on the next steps of cleaning up 360 footage so we'll see you in those next videos thanks I hope you're enjoying this preview of my cinematic 360 video post-production class. You can get this tutorial and five complete chapters for free by signing up at learn.voyeur.com. The full class includes 10 hours of content covering stereoscopic, 360 video, 180 VR, and more. It's now available at learn.voyeur.com, so go ahead and check it out.